What's up guys and gals and welcome back to Domino. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today. And there's a 70% thing right here that I don't know what that means. Like, that's been popping up in my playthroughs. That's a new thing that wasn't in the game the last time I played. And I'm curious what it is. Like, I don't know exactly what that 70% means. Uh, deny his request. I'll let you out later. They're kind of beat up for right now, but they'll get better. It's a hard life out here. What kind of pit fights we got going on? Oof. Yeah, that guy's got 16 victories. Uh, I'm not going to take that one. The payday just isn't good enough for the potential risk. That guy's got 16 wins. My best guy has 11 wins. Or no, my best guy has 13 wins. So that guy with 16 wins is probably pretty badass. Just from the extra stuff he gets by leveling up. We'll go with Centurion Leathers. Throw a little bit better gear on people. Although I found that armor, like, it only matters that you have some armor on. Not that you have the best armor on. Like, I found that once guys get it to, like, max level, armor doesn't really matter. You still get one shot at for 400 damage either way. Hey, he got upgraded to Red Dragon's Mail for free. Nice. Hell yeah. Uh, let's reinforce the wall so that if we have a natural disaster or anything else like that, we don't end up losing people. I'll arrange an exhibition match right now. Uh, it's going to be Morellis versus none of you guys have healed, huh? I'll put you up against Bonasaurus and a couple other dudes, but it's not going to be the XP match that I was hoping it was going to be. I feel like I've kind of swapped my Arena Champion over from my Thrakes to my Mermelo, but I think I can live with that, man. There's nothing cooler than a giant two-handed sword. It's true. I have one. It's true. Oh, he killed him on accident. Oops. Yikes. Well, that's probably not good, but I suppose I can live with it. My bad. These things tend to happen when you're playing with giant swords. These things tend to happen. These things do happen. He's at 152? Really? What a hoss, man. This guy's getting strong. He's getting real strong. I think he might be better than our Thrakes. He is. We're going to have to start rotating those two in. I need to start leveling this guy up, too, and getting him a little bit stronger. My bad. I didn't mean to lose a guy down here. Antoninius, 63 and 64 with 104 damage, 28 defense. It's a 4v1. Um, I'm going to put in Amos on that one. Amos and the Lion, why not? We'll have Amos fight alongside his noble battle pal, and hopefully it turns out well. Woof. Holy bejesus. That dude got shredded. Did they add that fatality for the Lions? I don't remember that. It puts it on the card, too. I don't remember that being in the game last time. That's wild. That's super crazy, but at least he got a couple of level ups off of it, so that's nice. Uh, we got a couple more... I'm actually going to give you, like, two upgrades on each slot. And there's a reason I'm doing this. And then I'm going to grant you your freedom. Uh, at the end of the game, well, I'm not going to spoil. But at the end of the game, basically, everybody you freed matters. I'll put in shield control so we get a little bit better at defense. Although, I don't want these guys focusing too much on defense. Like, offense is really king in this game. The faster you attack and the more you attack, the more you tend to win. We don't have a pit fight yet. Let me refuel right there. Uh, Medicus, how are things going over here? You're healing up Bonasaurus. Okay. I think I may rotate Bulbus down to training quality as well, I think. Yeah. We got another fight over here. I'm going to put in Aurelius because he hasn't leveled in a bit. And we'll go with Sentius, this dude right here. We'll put Bulbas into and Flavius. He'll probably be fine. I mean, he's got these guys so outskilled that I doubt he's going to get whooped right here. But I want to give him a really, really awesome opportunity to stack on the skill points and raise his muscle mass off beating up poorly armed men. There you go. That's what I like to see. Perfect. Submit them all. He should slow down on his development, though, I think, as time goes along. Oh, never mind. He got plus 27. 
What do I know about anything? Never mind. My wounds are grave. I will never be the same. Yep, them's the ropes when you them's the ropes when you live in the world of the arena. Them's the breaks, Hoss. He's at 149 and 158. Good. We've got him in a really good position to kind of move him upwards and do better. I'd like to get a few more pit fights in too, but I just don't know if it's going to be something that we have the time for. Like, I would love to run. I wish exhibition matches didn't give you wounds. I wish they used wooden weapons or something so that you could actually have your champions square off for the entertainment of the magistrate or whatever. The magistrate's wife is reported missing. Will you lend your guards to help look for her? Sure. Your support is appreciated. Nonetheless, your men were unable to find the woman. She emerges from the desert several days later, covered in blood and claiming she was kidnapped. The magistrate denies ever having received a ransom demand and seems rather upset to see her. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, let's get the Retiariuses. The Retiarii are not actually that bad. They're pretty good. The Spear guys, they have like this charge through attack where they go through the enemy and out the other side. And I've seen it one-shot people for like 700 damage. It's a really good ability. And frankly, I didn't really like the Retiarii. But nowadays, I'm a much bigger fan of them than I used to be. In my opinion, I think the two-handed Mermelos are probably the best guys in the game once you get them to max level. Like, they have the best reach, they have the best damage, they tend to just smoke everything really, really quickly. We may almost be ready for one of the games down here. Yeah, might be worth it. I'm gonna wait a little while till somebody's at max stats, but once they're at max stats, we'll start clearing the championships. And uh, impressing the people of Rome with our sexiness. I would like you to have better weapons at the minimum. Let's bring you up a little bit. I actually haven't developed this guy's skills at all, really. Like, he's leveled up basically just off of the training dummies over here. But I'm hoping that we'll have a chance to kind of get him into a better spot later on. Let's see here. Nope, you may not be free yet. Not yet. Not yet. Someday. Not right now. Let's go with... Oh, I don't know. I may actually pick up the upgraded architect pretty soon. Who's this guy? 150 and 149. It's a 1v1. We're going to have to feed this guy somebody. Let's give him... I mean, we could probably take him. But it's an even match. And one thing you'll learn in Domina is not to take even matches. I could send him against the Lion. Um, let's just feed him Sentius. So that we don't lose reputation. And at the same time, it'll reset the difficulty on our fights. So that we can get back in the pit and kind of deal some damage and farm a little bit more. I, I don't want to, like, I feel bad about, you know, sending naked guys into the pit to get one-shotted. But that's kind of life. Like, you kind of got to play the game that way. And look, they replaced him. You know what I mean? Like, not that big of a problem. Now, let's take a look at this pit fight down here. Now, that guy's got zero victories. Let's go ahead and put him up against our... You know, we could start developing Bonosis, but Bonosis, I think, is wounded. We could start developing him, though. I think he's, like, the closest to the threshold. Uh, let's put this guy up against Amos. Amos should be able to handle him, no problem. And honestly, I'm trying to work in order right now. We're going to need, like, five or six guys for the end of the game that are all kind of leveled up. Like, roughly, like, level 150. Oh, my God. That was, uh, you know that thing that I was telling you about where they get stuck in a loop? That was it right there. It's where they, they step backwards, they swing and miss, step backwards, swing and miss, step backwards, swing and miss, and it's basically an automatic win for the other side. They need to fix that in the AI. It's happened to a number of my top tier guys since I started playing in the game again. It's like, it's like a weird loop that happens every now and again. Gladiators max stamina up. Sure, why not? AI reaction boost for sure. Indefatigable is good. We'll put that on there. It's one of those things that happens. It kind of sucks because 
he was one of my up and coming stars. So now we're kind of stuck with lower tier dudes, but oh well. I suppose that's life. That's just the way things go. I'm going to try and push Morellis up to level 200, I think, pretty soon, too. The walls are almost built. The Medicus is doing his thing, getting people all patched up. Pit fights are always sketchy, anyways. Like, pit fights, eh. You guys got any... Let's see here. I wanted to start doing chariot races. He's got any chariot stuff? You can also... You should always check these right here. After any major loss where you need to replace people, always check in here because occasionally you'll find somebody that's like 80 and 80 on their stats and like 300 HP. And you'll want to pick that guy up. That guy's 56 and 57. He's pretty much the best one there, I think. Yeah. We don't really need him, though. It's not important for right now. We still have lots of options. We're not super desperate to have him yet. Yeah, let's build private quarters for our champions so that they can't be assassinated or injured or anything like that. We're probably about up for an exhibition match right now. So we'll put in Aurelius to help him keep farming. And his opponents will be pretty much all these low-level guys right here. It's nice that you level up at the same rate against weak people as you do against strong people. We landed a couple hits. Not bad. Not bad. We may get a little bit of crowd favor from that one. Maybe a tiny little bit. Yeah, we got a bunch of crowd favor off that one. Hell yeah. His AI training is now maxed out, so he's fighting officially as smart as he can be fighting. He's at 151 and 150. Or, that's the wrong person. He's at 170 and 181. A couple more exhibition fights, and I think he'll be ready. We'll have to feed him like one or two more people, but I think he's going to be okay. He's going to be buying from down there. Defensive priority I don't care about. Indefatigable we can throw on one of the lower level guys. And yeah, just spread some cards around so they're not clogging up my deck right now. The magistrate's cousin is to be married and it proves to be one of the largest weddings of the season. Many of the magistrate's extended family are without a place to sleep. Will you lend your villa as a residence for visiting guests? Yeah, sure, why not? For several days, the boring family of the magistrate consumes your wine and food. The magistrate offers to offset the cost of your hospitality with 12 coin. Okay, that's fine. Good stuff. How much money do I have? Can I afford to hire, like, one of the upgraded guys? Like, I think that the most important one that you can get is the Architect Emeritus. Because what he'll allow you to do is build more spots so that you can have more staff. But honestly, in a normal length game, it can be kind of difficult to get all those upgrades done just based on the time durations. Let's go with... Attack Shuffle? That sounds good. Attack Shuffle probably help out for that loop. It's, it does seem to go away once I get Attack Shuffle done. Do we have another exhibition match ready to go? Good. So put him in. And he will be fighting against Bonosis, Flavius, Fenestella, and Balbus, I guess. Go for it. This should hopefully take him up to max level. His HP is nothing to write home about, unfortunately. I do wish his HP was a lot better, but... It just isn't. I, I really wish his HP was like 100 points higher, but we kind of lost the roll on that one. The reason why I would say that is because he's got a short weapon. And with a short weapon, he's got to get closer, which means he's got a much better chance of catching a retaliatory hit uh, than a lot of our other characters. Is he maxed out now? He's almost there. He's maxed out on weapon. Okay. But he did get some HP off of that, which is good. That bumped him up to 546 from 480. So I will take that. And the city marketplace. We've got another pit fight over here. He's got 12 wins and 3 wins. The 3 wins would be fine, but the 12 wins is risky. Do the exhibition wins count as wins? They do. He's got 16 wins. All right. Well, he's going to be our guy that we're going to be sending after champions pretty soon. I would like his agility to be maxed out, so we'll probably do one more set of exhibition matches before too long. Yeah, you guys just, like, heal up. 
I don't have time to wait for the Medicus to do it, unfortunately. There we go. You guys just patch up as rapidly as possible while you wait for the doctor to get to you. We got a battle in five days. We still haven't seen any chariot races or fights yet. I am slightly interested in sending somebody in to fight in the championship right now. Because we've only got a half a year left. We're officially halfway through the game. But maybe that's the game speed right there. Maybe that's what that is. Like the speed at which the game is currently running. It's possible that I might have hit a key or something like that that slowed the game down. It is. It's the game speed. Gotcha. You can do plus and minus to speed and lower the game. I had no idea you could even do that. I learned a new thing today. I learned a new thing. Uh, he's level 16 and 25. He's level 147 and 143. We'll put in the two champs over here. And a lion. I'm a little bit worried about this fight. We may lose somebody here. Salvianus is kind of a badass. I'm hoping Aurelius can handle him and doesn't get caught in the loop. Oh, they got him. Our lion is dead. But they got him. Damn. Oh, cool. We got a Retarii. Or a Retarius. Sweet. I'm going to train the hell out of that guy. Yeah, you come over here. You're on my A, you're on my a squad now. You're on my A squad. So did you guys level up good? Let me see here. Did you max out? He didn't get any agility from that fight? That's a bummer. Yeah, that's going to be a big old oof right there. That's going to be a big old oof. Weapons lose 50% less HP in battle. Sure, why not? He is only 18 and 19. So if I put him up against a naked guy, he'll probably be okay in an exhibition match. But I do want to train this spear guy down here. Let's train him. Put him up against those three. That'll, that'll get him some good chops in so that he can get some nice upgrades. Even if he loses, he should still get a bunch of upgrades. These guys are more than likely just going to run from him. Yeah, you better guard that dagger. These dudes are going to mess your day up if you don't. Oh, you got problems now. <laughs> yep. You got problems now, bud. You got problems now. We'll see if he gets a wound right here. If he gets a wound right here, we'll just free him. Oh, good. He didn't get a wound. Nice. Hell yeah. Okay. Part of that was because he didn't have, like, decent gear on. Yeah, just throw, like, something on him. There we go. So he's had three victories. Everybody else is healing. The magistrate happens upon you purchasing new sandals in the market. The cobbler is a distant cousin with whom you have some rapport, despite the fact that his halitosis is offensive and unyielding. His greed is even worse than his bad breath. The magistrate intimates that he might be interested in a good deal on new sandals as well. Yeah, I'll whisper to my cousin that I'll cover the cost of the discount. The magistrate is pleased to get a good deal on sandals, which ends up costing you six coin. Additionally, you discover that the magistrate has six toes on his left foot, a fact that he covers up because of an old wives' tale about it being bad luck. Now you know his dirty little stubby secret. That means I can blackmail him. So, if you blackmail him, stuff can happen. I don't know if, like, in the normal campaign... I don't know if in the normal campaign we can actually do the chariot races. You can do the chariot races in endless mode. And the chariot races are actually my favorite thing in the game. So it's going to be a bummer if we're not allowed to do chariot races. Maybe we got to unlock them, though. Yeah, build me an apothecary. People are healing kind of slow, and it's kind of annoying. I'm going to go through and just, like, heal everybody manually. There we go. Just keep working on upgrades. Attack shuffle just finished. I would like to have low stance is good. Keep it low. Keep it on the low low because you already know no. So he got a little tuned up, but that's okay. He'll get better. He's doing strength training.
I would like for you to heal as well. I need all my A-team guys patched up. What does that little coin thing mean above his head? Oh, he's got an impediment now. Courteous. Okay, I'll grant him freedom then. He has max weapon level 23. I'll probably free him at some point too. Uh, I will purchase, let's see here, Aurelius of Italia. Good. So apparently Aurelius is his new guy. Let me see if I can find another gladiator in here who's decent. 68 and 74 isn't bad. I'll probably buy Roma Anus. He's cheap. So there we go. Roma Anus has now joined us. Roma Anus, heal up. There's some new gear. Because you're actually pretty decent. Cool. He'll patch up real fast. He doesn't have an impediment, does he? Okay, I'm just trying to make sure that I'm not wasting my characters here. Do you have an impediment? He does not. Alright, let's try this again. We're going to run this one more time. Hopefully this time you don't get whooped on. So for Sabinus, we will run him against just two of these guys this time. Last time he couldn't handle three of them. So we'll give him two this time. So hopefully he pulls through and doesn't get an impediment. He's definitely hitting a little harder, so that's good. It's probably because we upgraded his weapon, though. There we go. Perfect. Very nice. How'd you do? Plus 27. Hell yeah. Much better. That's actually put him into fighting shape right there. Not going to give him the partisan right now. You guys are pretty beat up. That guy's gotten his ass kicked non-stop, and yet he still doesn't have an impediment. Uh, we've got Big Nick. 69 and 76. Okay. We'll put him up against Morellis. Morellis should be able to hand him no problem. It should. This should be a quick ass whipping for Morellis. Morellis is kind of a hoss, man. He's kind of a beast. I think he's going to be okay. Or not. Or he could get caught in a net the entire match and one-shotted by... How did he deal 700 damage? Hold up. How did he deal 700 damage when he only had 69 attack? That must have been the critical attack of a lifetime, man. That sucks, though. That sets us back pretty hard right there. That's not good. That's definitely not good. After a military defeat, the Legate's officers are on the run from the Gauls. Um, yeah, I'll give them that stuff and send them on their way. Alright, so we definitely need to get Wolf Courage. Greater Courage will fight for a higher number of victories before they appeal for release. Go Polearm Defense, considering that's just what we just got, like, janked by super hard. Yeah, and I'm going to need some more exhibition matches down here to level up some of these weaker guys now. So you're 58 and 75. Romanus. Yeah, that should be a fairly even fight. We'll go for it. I mean, he needs to level up. We need him to get stronger. It's Ray Romanus, Debra. My brother's huge. I'm Ray Romano. I've got an inexplicably large brother. Debra. That was a close one. It wasn't a perfect fight, but it worked out. Crowd favor was good, and he got a bunch of level ups off of it. So you know what? I will take it. I need to get him up to like 150-ish. That's what I need, is for him to be 
a bit stronger. And get a better weapon. We'll get you upgraded as far as we possibly can. So you start looking like the terror of the steps out here. Move you up. Move you up. I need to get him trained too. I don't know if we're going to have time. What's up with the pit fights right here? Mm, I'm just going to stop doing pit fights, man. They don't seem like a good play. Let's go after a championship. Cecilius. He has 114 damage. I think we're going to be okay. We'll send in those three. A battle to the death in the great arena. Hopefully Aurelius will carry this and we won't lose anybody. There we go. Perfect. The championship is won. Welcome to a free payday, everybody. Welcome to a free payday. Hey, cool. We got a chariot. Apparently there is chariot racing. Nice. So everybody got a little bit of training done. He needs a new net. Unless we auto replace that. Yeah, rebuild nets is a good thing to have. Let's take that. He took a little bit of damage, but I think we'll be all right. We're going to go net defense so that we learn how to get out of nets a little bit faster. And that's going to be it for today in Domina. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me for another episode. I will see you all next time. We've had some setbacks and we've had some victories today. Whether or not we're going to win the game is still up in the air. See you all next time. Hi, do get the game down below and support the developer. And that's all I got for you.